everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and you're tuned in to Madden 18 on EA Sports. Tonight's matchup features two quarterbacks who will be trying to lead their team to victory. It's Cars Raiders going up against Manning's Giants. Thank you, Larry. Coming to you from just off the New Jersey Turnpike in East Rutherford, we are just about set for football on EA Sports from MetLife Stadium. This crowd a few minutes ago stirred into action at the sight of their men in blue emerging from the MetLife tunnels. We're set to go as the Giants get ready to match up with the Oakland Raiders. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. Sean Lynch, a man who won his lone Super Bowl in this stadium. Strong run, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. to throw its car and Cook has it left side and he is down deep into giant territory a big play there on the catch and run 49 yards and goal here from the nine. They'll run with Lynch. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the ten down to the six. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. They try again with Lynch. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Can this defense get the stop on the opening drive? Here's third and goal. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Flushed out right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jason Pierre-Paul able to drop it for a loss of 12 and it'll be fourth down so on fourth down off goes Carr and on is Sebastian Janikowski from the right hash just a 34 yard attempt and the 39 year old veteran puts it right through and the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage so they come into enemy territory. Nice drive to start the game, but they probably wanted six. They only got three. I agree with you totally. That's the expectation. When you get the ball and you start moving it and you're rolling, you think you're going to end up in the end zone. But they should be happy with the three. A good way to get things going here in this game. The return man here, Dwayne Harris. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. carry for the Clemson man Wayne Goldman and he'll power his way up near the 25 give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down Partner, I think from our experience together we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you if I'm going to run the football on first down I've got to get at least four yards they got five here they got to feel pretty good about that one Manning the throw on second down and on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds.
Downs, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. So Manning to Beckham in this defense, they better hone in on that connection. It's almost like an electrical charge for him, isn't it? When he catches the first one, I'm talking about OBJ, he just goes in the huddle and says, more, more, more. And really, he, he's just one of those guys that once he gets going, look out. A first carry now for Paul Perkins. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Second down and four. Now a toss. This is Gallman. <laughs> and he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. They go play action here on first down. And this is caught at the 8. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10 to the 7. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now a carry here for Orleans Darkwall. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. And now it's second and goal. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. And let's see six defensive backs out there. They're in the dime here on third and goal. Manning now to throw. A bullet throw, but incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end.
force the incompletion, force him into going for three and not giving up six. On fourth down, off goes Manning, and on comes the Giants kicker, Aldrich Rosas, for the field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. On fourth down, off goes Manning, and on comes the Giants kicker, Aldrich Rosas, for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And it bangs off the right, upright, no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And that one, my goodness, that was almost too easy. Yeah, you're not going to have too many attempts shorter than that one. And I don't think this was blocked. That's about as bad a miss as you can have. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up. But they're looking to put a drive in. And he fires one that's intercepted. Snags it for the pick. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. Short throw pick six right there. Those linebackers, they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. So he missed his lone field goal try, but he's got this one as that extends their lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. So out come the Raiders. Start the drive with Lynch. Even with that broken tackle, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. But he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. On second down, here's Carr. That's Cordero Patterson hauling it in. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A good pick up there of 20 yards. First down, the run with Lynch. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Now Carr throwing on second down. And that's complete. It's the Carr to Cooper connection. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and was inquiring about him and his skills, they say it all began back in Miami. He really became a pro receiver at a young age because of his attention to detail and precision. But don't forget his athletic ability. That's what made that catch there. And he did spend one year with Teddy Bridgewater as his quarterback there, so that helped back in high school. On second down, Lynch. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. 
don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Throwing his car on third down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jason Pierre-Paul in there to take him down and to take us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this time out. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. Here's Darqua. And an alley to run. Touchdown, Giants. Orleans Darqua, 55 yards. And the Giants strike quickly here for six points. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Rosas now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. And now here come the Raiders. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Dominique Rogers cromarty That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you want to call it, and move on. He hasn't been able to do so here in the second. So after the INT, it's Manning. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Evan Ingram was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. Throwing again. Manning. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Defense has set themselves up nicely. Third and ten now. Working from the gun. Manning. And Ingram holds it in. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 45. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Looking for his receiver. Sharp, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Sean Smith. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Ah, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Now after the INT, it's Carr. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. Jonathan Casillas. 
In there to get him for what will be a loss of 13 yards. Second down. And his throw here is incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. On third and long, it's Carr. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, we quit counting yardage on that one, didn't we? That was truly third and a mile, wasn't it? It was. I thought they might just go underneath, but they didn't. They wanted to get the first down there. Yeah, they tried to pick up the huge chunk unsuccessfully. I'm with you. I would have tried to take some yardage just to gain some field position. So on fourth down, here's Marquette King to punt it away. Back deep, it's Odell Beckham. Beckham, the return. And he goes out of bounds, just shy of the 45. A terrific return. 30 yards all in all. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And bringing it in right side here, Beckham. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. The effort's always going to be there. Everyone's always going to try and make a catch, but underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back and get it. So second and 10 here. To throw again. Manning. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard. Maybe from you. I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a no chance at all. Way easier said than done. Halfback sent in motion. Throwing his Manning on third down. And that's complete to Marshall on the crossing route. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. On the left hash mark, this a 38-yard attempt. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. The 
Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Giants' offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. They built a good first-half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. On second down, Perkins. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. On first down, back to Perkins. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. In motion left goes a tight end. And the play clock's running down. First carry now for Sean Drone. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit. You stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock, and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding clock. And the slot man goes in motion left. Time running out here on the play clock. Manning turns and gives this to Goldman. Oh, and now some space to operate. Pass the 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, New York. A big play there, 47 yards. And the Giants are able to grow their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind. Because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. Rosas now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. Fights off the defender. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many time. plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They'll keep pounding here with Ledge. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. 
A tenth carry of the game for Marshawn Lynch. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Now they'll throw with Carr. Comple Inside the 45. A Raider first down as Carr finds Cooper. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Carr gives to Marshawn. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. A gain of three, second down. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Here's Carr to throw. And he's going to get this one down right to the edge of the red zone of the chalk of the 20. A good pick up there, a 22. And now a first down following that long gain. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. They'll run with Marshawn Lynch. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. It's Raider football here, but they're on the short side of the scoreboard right now as we begin the fourth. Looking to throw on second down. Carr. They dump it off to Lynch. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it'll be third down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike, has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. Olivier Vernon in there to get him for a loss of nine. And that'll lead to fourth down. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Now Carr, got to have this one. And the pressure gets to him again. Devon Kennard.
You're getting way too big for your boots. You're never too big for the boot. I got the big size toes on my feet. Your face ain't big for my boots. Kick up the you. Man, I know that I kick up the you. Then why they try to stop the truth? How dare you to stop the truth? No, you're getting way too big for your boots. You're never too big for the boot. I got the big size toes on my feet. Your face ain't big for my boots. Kick up the you. Man, I know that I kick up the you. Then why they try to stop the truth? How dare you to stop the truth? Wanna come round there like a bad boy, do it. Want all the talking, go on and do it. Running through the park.